Hello everyone, I'm making another video for YouTube. Uh, so today I've got a mathematical game uh, that I wanted to play and this is a game which I've got here on the table in front of me and uh, it's a game involving some fish and it involves this rather snazzy, uh, well it's a button on a bit of string attached to a pencil uh, but I can use this to pick uh, fish up from my fish pond. The problem I have is that this is a two player game so I'm going to need a second mathematician. Oh look, there's James Grime. Hi James Grime. Hi. It's James Grime off the internet. Hi. So would you like to play this game? I would, I would love to play this game. I'm so excited to play this game. Okay, so how do we play it? So the rules are, mm. you take it in turns to pick up a fish using the highly technological fish picking up implement. Pencil. Uh, in fact, this particular set of fish was made uh, by some of the math students at a workshop I was doing today. So they've, they've kindly allowed me to let it feature in the video. Uh, you can see the fish are featuring the numbers one to nine. Okay. And you need to pick up as many fish as you want. The winner is the first person who has three fish, which add up to 15. Okay, three fish that add up to 15. So we take it in turns. Right, yeah. right so who goes first? Uh, let's see you go first. You go first. I'll be, I'll be kind and let you go first. Okay, I am going to go for five. So I've got, ooh, okay, look got, at that. I've got, got fish five. five. Okay. Yeah. So you keep the fish. Oh, thanks. Uh, not forever. Like, we'll need it again to play yeah. the game. Uh, but I'm going to make a, make a fish move. I'm going to go for four. Because I feel like... That might be something you would find useful. So I'm going to pick up fish number four, like that. So you're trying to you're trying to prevent me from winning. Yes. Well, that well I'm trying to win myself. I'm trying to prevent me from winning. I'm going to go for one. Okay, I've got one. Okay. Yeah. So if you've got five and one. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to need to stop you from getting fifteen with your first three fish. So I'm going to have to pick up the nine because right? that's what you need to make a fifteen. But now I've got four and nine. You've got four and nine, so you've got 13. I don't want to stop you, so I'm going to take the two before yeah. you get it. So I'm going to take the two. Okay. Now you've got five and one and, and nine would make 15, but if you've also got five and two, then eight would make 15. So I'm going to need to stop you from getting that, so I'm going to get the eight. Like that. You're playing this on the next level. You're playing this, good at this game. You're several steps ahead. Right, mm, well, I'm going to have to up my game here. Uh, you've got 12, I can see a 12 on your side. I'm going to stop you getting your 15 by taking the 3 away. Thank you. Okay. okay. But can I get 15? Well, you've got a 5 and a 3, which is 8. So if I take 7, that will stop you from getting 15 that way. I, I've got a strong suspicion this is going to end in a stalemate or a stale fish mate. Well, I've only got uh, six left, so I'm going to take the six, and I don't think I can make 15. I think you successfully prevented me from winning. Wow. Uh, so we're a stalemate. We're, just, we're, too, we're equally good. We are equally that's, good. That's, that's, the problem. that's the conclusion here. Um, do you know what? I've just, I've, I've just managed to stop you from winning, even though you already know what this game is. I do You've know played this, game. this game before. I do know this game, yes, I do know this game. Uh, and I've done a video on this game before, because it's a great game, it's one of my favourite games too, mm. uh, because there is a surprise about this game, which I think Katie should do. Okay, I will, I will tell people what the surprise is. In fact, I can use the fish, I can arrange the fish uh, to demonstrate what it is about this game. So. I'll do this down here on the table. So if I arrange the fish in this specific square, you might notice something about the numbers in this square. This is a magic square. Uh, and that means that each row of this square adds up to 15, each column adds up to 15, and both the diagonals add up to 15 as well. And I know that that's all the ways that we can make 15 out of three numbers using one to nine, yep. that contains all the ways that yes, you could possibly there are win. exactly eight different ways out of all of the hundreds of possible ways you can pick three things out of uh, nine. You only have eight ways that will make a total of 15. And so winning the game means picking three fish from the same row, the same column, or the same diagonal. Yes. So this is basically making a line of three, which is a game that hopefully everyone already knows which is Knots and Crosses, also known as Tic-Tac-Toe. I know Knots and Crosses. Mm. 
This game is Noughts and Crosses. It is Noughts and Crosses, yeah. So the game is the same as Noughts and Crosses. So all the strategies that you can use to win Noughts and Crosses, you can use to win uh, the fishing game as well. Yeah, so in fact, um, in, in much the same way as when you're eating fish, a fork is a useful thing to employ. Where a fork is when you've got two possible ways to make a line of three and you've got the, you right. know, the start of two lines of three so no one can You're trying to create game. two possibilities yeah. at the same yeah. time. So I did know this game before, but you said you had uh, another game to show me yes. that I hadn't seen before. Yes, I have a different game, so that is the real reason that you're here. Right, let's do it. This is, I'm this excited. is the game I want to show you. So, uh, my other game, you can just pass me the little stack of cards over there. Got it. This game is called Stars and Planets, and I've got um, some cards here that I've printed up with stars and planets on them. So I'm going to put these down on the table in a kind of random arrangement. And if you look at the card, you can see each one of them has either got one, two or three stars and one, two or three planets. And we've got all the possible combinations here. So the way the game works is we take it in turns to pick a card from the table into mm -hmm. our kind of hand. And your challenge is to try and make a set of three cards that go together. And there are a few rules about what, means, what that means, what a set of three cards is. So firstly... You could have a set of three cards which have the same number of stars on them. So, for example, this one, this one, and this one. Or you could have a set of three cards which have the same number of planets on them. So, these three here. Or you could have a set of three cards that have the same total number of stars and planets. So, these two have both got three. Okay. Um, or, for example, okay, so there's four on that one, four on that one, and four on that one. So, that would make got a it. set of three. And there is one more way to make a set of three, which is if all of the cards in the set have equal numbers of stars and planets. So, for example, this card has one star and one planet, uh, this card has three stars and three planets. So if you have three cards that are like that, that will also make a set. Okay. So who's going to go first? Uh, mm, I'm suspicious. I'm suspicious. I don't know. I feel like there's a winning strategy. Yeah. Like there. like there's I, a best... I quite politely let you go first last time. In this, in that other yeah, totally different yes. game. So, I mean, should I go first? Is that? I don't know what's the. Uh, okay. You can go first. Okay, I'll go first. Um, but so I'm suspicious. I need to pick this one. Okay. Uh, okay, so I'll take this one. Okay. I will take this one. And, hmm, now, I'm trying to stop you. Ah, so I want to stop you here, and I can see that that would be a winning card for you there. So I'm taking this one. Okay. All right, so you've got two cards there that have the same number of stars, so I'm going to take that one to stop you from getting a line that way. Oh, this is, <laughs> this feels... Uh, difficult. Um, I don't know how I'm going to stop you next. Um, so I am going to take this one. Okay. Well, in that case, I am going to take this one, which means I win because now what? I've got three cards that all have four things on them, and that was one of our ways to make a, oh, a set. Oh no! Yeah. That is that is so mean. Beat you. Yes, you did beat me. Yeah. No, it's the trick to it. I beat you at my own game. <laughs> you, you did. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so stupid. Yeah. And it's the trick to it. There is. Mm -hmm. You're going to kick yourself. Okay. Because do you know what I'm going to do now? What? I'm going to arrange the cards on the table in a square. Right. Yeah. So I'm going to put these in a square on the table. Yeah. You should be able to see now that all the cards in the same row have the same number of planets. Yes. But at the same time, the cards in the same column have the same number of stars. And the two diagonals of this square are the two other sets. So in this diagonal, we've got all the cards that have an equal number of stars and planets. I see it. And in this diagonal, we have all the cards that have four, um, four pieces on them. Uh, so four in total. Yep. So, and, and those are all the winning moves? Yes. Uh, so, so it's the same game? It is the same game. This game is also Noughts and Crosses. So this is also Noughts and Crosses. And do you know what? Because this is Stars and Planets. This is the, the kind of the one that I've kind of printed up to be simple. But it doesn't have to be this. You can play this game with any two 
things that you want to. Um, so if you can if you can reach over there, I've I got see. I've got a set here which I mean this is a very silly one which is noughts and crosses, uh, which I thought would be a silly one to make given that this game is technically noughts and crosses. Uh, what else have we got over there? We've got some more mathematical ones. Uh, so we've got this one which is pies and taus. Uh, for those of you that enjoy the controversy between which is better out of pie and tau, I'm I'm neutral on the subject. Um, but of course this one gets slightly confusing because uh, this card has got two pi and one tau, but two pi is one tau. So let's not use those, those ones are confusing. Yeah. Uh, and of course the uh, celebrity guest uh, cards which are the uh, mats and Brady's. So I've got little uh, Brady's and mats on there. So these cards, we're not worried. Wait a minute. Just, uh, like, you yeah. invited me onto this video. And you make a set with Matt and Brady. I, I mean, I thought it would be weird to Photoshop your face <laughs> before before coming and doing a video with you. But anyway, yeah. So this is the game, Stars and Planets. And this is really nice because it is the same game, but it's not quite the same thinking because it's not adding numbers, uh, and it's not numbers at all, is it? No, no. It's just the arrangement of the cards. But if you have any game where you're trying to make a set of three. And you can, you know, you work out what the rules are for what a set of three counts as. If you can arrange the cards in such a way that a set of three is the same as a line of three on a grid, then that game is also nuts and crosses.